Hey there traders, and welcome back to episode 3 from the stockbandit.tv. So in this episode, we're going to talk about finding trade candidates. And one thing that I get asked about quite often is, you know, do you have some kind of a formula that you use to locate the trades that you list in the premium video? Well, as much as I'd love to tell you that I have a nifty little machine right here that does all my stock selection for me, the truth is that I don't. And the reason why is that I trade a variety of different patterns and setups. And so some of those can be mathematically identified by a computer to detect. So in that case, I want to use technology to my benefit if I'm trading something like a breakout. So let's take a look at an example here. This is a BMRN. And this stock's trying to break out today at the moment. And all that means is that it's hitting its highest high over, over a certain period of time. So highest high over X number of days. That's a breakout. And a computer can find that for me. And that's nice. And However, if I want to trade a breakdown, then I can take a look at a stock like Warehouser, WY, which is breaking down here, hitting a new low, and it's undercutting support, so it's making its lowest low over X number of days. And so a computer can find you know, these breakouts and breakdowns pretty easily because the criteria for them is so factual and, it, and it's so standardized. A breakout is a new high, a breakdown is a new low. But let's say that you like to trade, for example, bull flags, like we talked about in episode two. You know, what, it, what exactly constitutes a bull flag pattern? You know, we know that it looks like this, but how high is this rally right here? And how long does this trading range last? And just how deep is this pullback right here uh, that we see? taking place and so things like that are subjective and, and, it, and a bull flag is a look and so you know we know that it's an advance followed by this trading range but what's the requirements here and and that's really the thing that I feel like a computer falls short in so for me the answer to these questions is that it's really just subjective you know bull flag is this shape and it's not necessarily a, a mathematical formula that can be perfectly I identified and defined and if it were, then certain stocks would qualify, and one stock that's maybe off by a certain percentage amount would not qualify. But I think that's the trouble with really just relying on a computer to find all the good patterns for you. So uh, let's take a look at WDC. This is one that's been in a bull flag pattern here. I think we'd all agree that this pattern is intact, but does that mean that the parameters of this setup have to apply across every other bull flag pattern? No because that's the overall look that we're looking for. So let's take a look at one other type of setup here, which is RIM. And uh, this stock is sort of setting up a little bit of a rounded top here. And uh, we see this stock has rallied up and stalled out and is looking like it could start to roll over here a little bit. But how do you mathematically define what this rounded top is comprised of? Well, I don't know. And so uh, I do know when I see a stock that looks like this, that I'm gonna keep it on my radar in case it starts uh, undercutting some some support because that could offer a nice play on the short side so when I see that I know what to do with it but I don't know that I can define that for a computer to find for me so for me really when it comes to finding the stocks that I'm gonna trade it boils down to just primarily digging through the charts and keeping some organized watch lists in my charting program that really helps me tremendously and what I do is I review many hundreds of charts every evening and I look for the best setups for the following day's plays. And so over time, if you do that enough, you get really good at it and the process gets much faster than it is initially. So just really, I guess the point of this video is your mind's eye is very powerful and if you train it right, it can detect subtle nuances on a chart that a PC is likely to overlook. And so you may want to mathematically define searching for certain patterns, but others you're going to have to look for subjectively, and that just means good old-fashioned hard work and digging through the charts. Once you find them, it can definitely mean the difference between catching a very nice trade or just missing it completely. So do your homework out there. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. 
Trade like a bandit, and I'll see you soon.